If you're trying to make money on YouTube or become a YouTuber, then I'm here to tell you, stop. That's right. If you actually want to reach your financial goals, there is a much, much better vehicle to do that than making money on YouTube. And that vehicle is simple. Online courses, my friend. Today, I'm going to break down the pros and cons of running a YouTube-based business versus what I think is a more legitimate business, an online course-based business. People spend hours and hours of their life on YouTube, and there are massive YouTubers who have millions of followers who supposedly make lots of money on YouTube, and it's very easy to become infatuated with these influencers and to see the big numbers and to see the kind of money they're making and to want to emulate them. I don't blame you if that is you. What's interesting is someone who's been on YouTube for about 11 years, coming up on 11 years now, uh, and runs two YouTube channels. People ask me all the time how to grow on YouTube, how to get big on YouTube. And what they want is to just become a YouTuber. That's what they think they want. They want influence, they want a big audience, and they want money. The problem is it's not the best way to make a living, okay? Yes, I make YouTube videos, but I don't make money on YouTube. What I'd like to do in this video is show you both sides and show you a different way. I have two businesses. Both depend greatly on YouTube. I don't make my money with YouTube ad revenue. I make it through online courses. And I'd like to show you the differences and let you decide what makes sense for you. Let's talk about the YouTube ad revenue model because that is the model that everyone wants when they see big YouTubers. They want the ad revenue. Yeah, they probably want brand deals, sponsored posts, things like that. You can make some 10, 20, $30,000 for a sponsor post, but you can make more money long-term from the ad revenue. That's, that's the main model a lot of YouTubers are looking for. So let's break down how this works, right? The model is simple. You need eyeballs. So you got to make videos to get a ton of views. And I would say that's just good advice in general on YouTube, you know, but it goes without saying you got to make a ton of videos. They get a ton of views. Then you need to be able to monetize your videos, which I, they keep changing the rules, but I think it's a thousand subscribers and a certain number of uh, minutes of watch time. And then you can unlock that feature. Not hard to pull off if you're really pumping out content people like. Once you get to that level, you flip a switch in the back end of your YouTube account. And what that allows is for ads to display on on your videos. It could be a video ad at the beginning of your video. It could be a banner text ad that hovers over the video that people can X out of. It could be a video ad at the end. It could be a video ad in the middle. It could be all of the above, but you're allowing other product manufacturers and brands to advertise somewhere in your video. You've seen this before, right? Okay. So you monetize your videos, that's step number two. Then you need to get as many people to see those ads as possible. So that goes back to getting more views and pumping your videos with more ads. Add at the beginning, ads in the middle, multiple ads in the middle that break up the videos, add at the end, all of the above. Get as many people to see those ads as possible because the more ads that are viewed, and the longer those ads are viewed, the more money you make. This is going to lead you, if this is the path you're going on, this is going to lead you to certain decisions as a content creator, if that's the goal, right? So these decisions include creating relevant content, which you should always do, but generally you find YouTubers making relevant time-sensitive content. Why? Because that kind of content gets more clicks because it's relevant for the moment. Like this is what Apple stock did yesterday. This is what uh, is happening in the housing market today. This is what Donald Trump just said. Like whatever just happened, so time sensitive content. This is neither good nor bad. This is a neutral decision, but this, I'm just telling you, this is the type of decisions you make to make as much relevant time sensitive content as possible to get clicks now because it's relevant now and it draws more people now to grow quickly, okay? So you're gonna do that. That's one decision you'll make. And then the second one is your CTA, your call to action in your videos is gonna be very specific. It's gonna be hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And maybe you'll throw in a hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I have a new video. But it's hit the like button and subscribe. Why do we want you to do this as YouTubers? We want you, the viewer, to do this for us because the more likes and subscribes we get, the more it can feed the algorithm for people to, for YouTube, I should say, to know that our videos are relevant and it also gets the videos to show up more so then people will watch more and that all helps us get promoted in YouTube. So these are the decisions you're going to make as a content creator on YouTube if ad revenue is your goal. The upside to this model, the YouTube ad revenue model is very simple. Lots and lots of cash 
if you can get millions of views and you're in a topic or niche where the advertisers pay more to advertise in those spaces. Downsides, there are many. One, when you see a video that says what Tesla stock just did, and you see that it's a year old, you might not click on it because it's you already know it's irrelevant because who cares what Tesla stock did a year ago? I care about what Tesla stock's doing now. What that means is your content only has but so long of a shelf life and then it's useless. The only problem with this is that it forces you to make more content and you have to keep pumping out basically newer versions of the old content. Whereas in other topics or niches or in other angles, as we'll talk about, you can make a piece of content that can be relevant for years to come. So that's one of the bummers. You have to keep pumping out content. Uh, two, the algorithm could change. The YouTube algorithm could change, which makes it harder for your your videos to show up. It, you, you might not get as many video suggestions. You might not show up with the search terms that used to dominate for. I don't know. The YouTube algorithm, while relatively straightforward, is an enigma, as all algorithms are, and it could change. And it could take time for you to catch up on what the changes are and adjust accordingly. So you aren't in control really of if people see your videos. T three, number three, YouTube could suspend your account. This happened to one of my friends just last week. He woke up one morning, his account suspended, no longer active. The videos don't exist. He can't even log into his account. Sometimes they do this because you've, they say you violated the, the policies, the conduct policies or the community policies, and you might have violated them without realizing it. In my buddy's case, it was an error, but there's no customer service on YouTube's website. He had to tweet a million people and eventually find someone that was willing to look into it for him. It was a major hassle. All the while, his site is down. If you depend on millions of views a month, even a million views a month, every day counts. Every day that your YouTube channel is suspended is thousands of dollars lost for you. So you're at the mercy of them suspending your account. So there's a lot of downsides to that model. Not to mention that Unless you just crush it, it takes a long time to get to millions of views, to get substantial ad revenue where it's paying all your bills and then some. Let's talk about the model I prefer, the online course model. Here's how that model works. You build your own online video course or courses and sell them for whatever price you want, charge whatever you feel is re relevant. So you have complete control over the product, control over the price. You can sell at massive scale. So you can sell these to as many people as you possibly can find. You can automate the sales process entirely. You can automate the upsell and cross-sell process to add other products to their order after they've already typed in their credit card. You can automate that. You can build a list of emails of buyers you can sell more stuff to down the road. Membership sites, coaching, group coaching, live paid webinars, live events. You can market to those people over and over again with more stuff you have to sell. I, I want to control what I can control. I want to be responsible for my own business and not take that responsibility and give it to YouTube and say, look, I'm going to do what you want, YouTube. I'm going to make whatever, whatever videos you want. Please send me the views. Please send me the ad revenue. To me, that's not a business model. That is like gambling. That's just like, I'm gonna do this and hope, shake the dice and hope that I, I win big. Now, it's possible, so it's not nearly as bad as gambling. I think it's a better use of your time than gambling, because at the very least you're making helpful videos that help people. And it's a legitimate model, so it's not illegitimate. It's just too much uncontrollables, too many variables, too much out of my hands. Where the online course model is I can scale this income much, much faster. So a great example is, is like this YouTube channel right now. I use this channel to add value for discoverability. And then what do I want from, from you? I want you, if you really find value from these videos, to go deeper with me and get even more free content. I'm gonna give you a free guide here in a minute, which is gonna be free, legitimately free. But I'm gonna do that in exchange for your email address. Why? Because if I have your email address, then I can let you know about my online course, Automatic Income Academy, about my membership site, Six Figure Coaching Community, about new stuff that I'm launching the next few months that I will tell you more about soon. I can market to you directly that way. So it's a win-win. I've got great products on the other side that I own that I can at least offer to you. I can't make you buy. It has to be the right fit. You have to really see the value in it, but at least I can offer it to you and I can offer it to you offline. I don't have to do it here on YouTube. See how this works? So the YouTube ad revenue model, legit, but you have a lot out of your control. You need a massive following and you gotta pump out a ton of content. 
map out the kind of life you want. Don't just chase after money, chase after scalable money. Chase after a lifestyle that makes sense, that's holistic, that's sustainable. If you do that, you'll have a better decision of whether you wanna chase the YouTube ad revenue model or the online course model. If you wanna make online courses, I wanna save you some hassle for making a bad one and not selling it to anybody. I wanna give you my six figure online course checklist. This is a simple guide. It's gonna give you a four step process to building and selling highly profitable courses, courses that will make you six figures and beyond. I've built a ton of online courses. Some of my courses have made me seven figures in and of themselves. I got one course that's a $97 course that I've been selling for many, many years. That little course has made me over a million dollars. Just that one little course. I'm taking everything I've learned in over 10 years of selling online courses and distilling it into four steps for you to build and sell your own profitable six-figure course. It's a free guide. You might as well download it. Just go to sixfigurecourse.com. The number six, figurecourse.com. I'm gonna link to it below in the description here if you're watching on YouTube as well. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, just go to six figurecourse.com with the number six, download that guide and then do what it says and begin to build your own online course business. I'm telling you, it's way more fun, way less work, way more profitable, way more scalable, way more automatable than the YouTube ad revenue model. I hope you enjoy. Hope this was helpful to you. If it was, leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you on another episode real soon.